Welcome to Face to Face, Face the Nation's midweek show. I'm John Dickerson. I'm here with Vin Weber, six-term congressman from Minnesota, and also a supporter of Mitt Romney, Republican strategist. Welcome. Great, Great to be with you. Tell me what we should think about the outcome in Mississippi and Alabama. Well, it actually wasn't as bad as the morning after analysis for Romney. Romney proved himself to be quite competitive. The two elections were very close in terms of total votes. And of course, at the end of the night, Romney got more delegates than the other candidates. But we did allow ourselves to get a little ahead of ourselves in anticipation of maybe winning Mississippi. And so uh, the, the, the spin was not as good as we'd liked it to be. But I think Romney showed that he can actually compete in the South for votes. I don't think there's a problem going forward in terms of electability, uh, but we are clearly now in a delegate fight and the Republicans need to think about the implications of that. What do you mean the implications of that? What do you mean? Well, we've heard a little discussion about, quote, the numbers this week, you know, and Romney's talked about how, what the math would be to get him to the nomination. And Rick Santorum has come back and said, well, yes, I would have to get 65% of the votes, but Romney would have to get a majority of the votes, and he can't do that either. What Santorum is saying to us, and Gingrich even more explicitly, is that their strategy is to take this all the way to the convention. They don't have another strategy to win. They basically admit that. So the Republicans have to think about what it would mean for the first time, at least since 1976, to not have a nominee until basically September. Would it mean chaos at the convention, those strategies? It could, um, but more importantly, think about what modern conventions have become. They've become the main communications tool for both parties in the course of the entire campaign, basically, possible exception being the debates that are held in the fall. So there's no other better opportunity. The Democratic convention is going to be a beautifully orchestrated communications opportunity telling us why we need to reelect President Obama. If the Republican convention is a mishmash of conspiracy theories and backroom dealings and competition back and forth and we wake up the morning after we've nominated a candidate and then have to start the campaign against Obama, we're going to start out in a deep, deep hole.